Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to Code Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking a look at the no code movement. It's just going to be an information video. I'm just going to basically look at what this is and then at the end I'll make some comments about it. So a quick Google search of the no code movement reveals that it's on the rise from the SitePoint article. There's articles about which tools to use and what it means for software developers. And there's a free website builder, builder from Webflow, not sponsored. This video is brought to you by my patrons. If you want to help support future videos, consider signing up on the old patronage and uh, being one of those guys. So shout out to you guys. All right, and let's let's dig in. No code, no code. I just want to be. So you're probably asking. What is this exactly? What do you mean no code? Well, I will explain. Now, according to this SitePoint article, it's on the rise, and let's just talk about what this is. I don't know if they say it blatantly here, so I'll just say it. It's basically the idea of creating software without touching a line of code. So how do you do this? You uh, ride on the backs of all those who have coded before you. So your no code is actually a bunch of people, a bunch of other people's else's code. I know they said that weird, but the point is, there is tons of code behind the no code movement, which it kind of boggles my mind why it's called no code, but I get it from the person developing the, the end app or the end website. You don't touch a line of code because you're using everybody else's tool and everybody else's code. That's it. The whole idea is you don't need to code, you can make anything without coding. So let's just talk about the benefits real quick. I'm just going to read this article. And it looks like they uh, have a little personal example. When we were in the thick of product development for Cloud Peeps, I don't know what that is, I remember how frustrating it was for our developers and me when I needed to make any, any updates to our market pages or funnels. While I can happily edit HTML, Congrats, United HTML. Having a custom built platform meant deploying changes was limited to the depths. Prioritizing feature developments alongside bug fixes, tweaks was a challenge. Progress was slow. We tried numerous A B testing tools, moving to popular CMS, but the user experience started to suffer. Okay. The tools like Web, while tools like Webflow existed, oh, we saw that link. This isn't that though, this is SitePoint. They were touted as mainstream solutions, so we lacked awareness to implement them. Since then, the rise of no-code tools has changed the game forever, not only for tasks like marketing pages, but also for full-stack apps, which people can now build end-to-end -end in 2014. Oh, in 2014, if you wanted to build a marketplace, you had to develop it from scratch. After that, offers offerings like ShareTribe come along to make uh, with the standard marketplace software in a box, an ongoing price tag, you can build whatever marketplace setup you want using no code tools. So there you have it. It's basically using a bunch of tools to build. Well, there looks like they're mainly talking about websites here. I don't know if you can do this for anything. Sure, there are tons of assets for thing like, things like the Unreal and Unity engine, so you might be able to get away with it. It just depends what you're doing. I just... I can't see this being relevant for game development, well, beyond a certain extent, but it looks like you can set up your full website with no code. I guess this is WYSIWYG stuff. Uh, what you see is what you get. You know, you drag and drop things, you set it up how you want it, you add in things. Let's take a look at this next one. The rise of the no code movement. Yes, we'll, we'll take your cookies. Send them to me. Give me your cookies. All right. Uh, no code might ring a bell or be completely new, but one thing is for sure. This year you will hear a lot about it and here's why. All right, it's worth, the no code movement is worth a bunch. Okay, that seems weird to me. Surprising, not so much. The value of no code is clear as day. It allows people to have big ideas, but no coding skills to start creating immediately. All right, well, this is dangerous because, well, just go look at my software core video. That's that's why this is dangerous. 
we're going to have a bunch of janky stuff where people don't actually know how the tools they've integrated are working. Well, I don't know. That's, that's me just kind of looking at the cons. Yeah, so that you don't have to code. You just, just write on the backs of all the coders that came before you. All right, well, why is it so popular? Basically because people don't want to learn how to code because it's too hard, probably. Removes the challenges of coding and opens up a world of possibilities. I don't, I don't know. There's something, I don't have anything against this, but there's something like inherently insulting about this no code thing to programmers. All right, let's look at something else more interesting. Now, I think where this all kicked off was from this Kelsey Hightower slash no code GitHub. The best way to write code, write nothing, deploy nowhere. Start by not writing any code. Just an example application, but you can imagine it. Don't you think what? I love this. This is still funny to me. I don't know if this is a joke mocking the no code movement or if this is a literal ad for it, but it has so many, almost 50k stars, and there's literally nothing in here except this meme about no code. I can't tell. If this, I really can't tell if this is like a, he was just feeling like, oh, well, let me just make fun of this no code thing and put this up. Or if this was legit, like, oh, this is actually better. Here we go. Oh, this is, this is a Docker file. There's nothing in it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Well, let's see if we can find anything, any other useful information before I end this video. All right. Well, I did a search for why use no code and I got a few things. I'm not sure which is going to be the best here, so we're just going to take a peek. And uh, yeah, here we go. You can see the website I'm on, so no need for me to over advertise that. So that's why no code development is getting so much attention. Why is that? Well, they talk about what it is. Okay, so I guess the major problem is custom making your code takes a long time to develop, and it's hard for other developers to get on, get in on, and all that. So iteration time can be pretty huge. Enter the no-code development. You've probably heard of this term being thrown around. It sounds promising. Does it really make that much of a difference? Can it really make life smoother for you and your department staff? Let's just read these first paragraphs of these. What is the no-code development? A platform that uses visual development environment to allow layman users to create apps. Okay, so like WYSIWYG editors. I gotcha. Through methods such as drag and drop, adding application components to application with no code users don't need prior coding knowledge to create apps okay well I can see yeah WYSIWYG editors have always had their place but the problem is they turn into like janky pieces of mess because things don't actually work as you always intend or they don't have the proper I don't know like you resize your page and things are stuck on the top left or something there's always there's always weird stuff going on and you don't get to control the code behind it because it's always doing something you don't want. But I guess, you know, the tools are improving. Maybe it's not as bad as it, I remember. Benefits of no-code application development platforms. You know the obvious benefit of taking some weight off your chest by letting other teams create applications without knowing how to code. Or is it one trick pony? Better agility, reduced cost, more productivity, easily changeable. Okay, and no-code development does work in the real world. There's been a growing requirement for developers since the start of the information age. The backbone of websites and applications. Yeah, we sure are. Code is running the world and continues. Okay, do companies use it? More and more companies are finding value in the no-code app development platform and putting their eggs in this basket. All right, so uh, let's let's just take a look at this why you should go no code without a reliable way to allow your business users to develop their own applications your problems are going to be compounded you're going to find more and more cases of shadow it popping up all over the organization companies underestimate the reach of shadow it i don't know what shadow it means on average cios are way off the mark by a factor of 15 to 22. what does that mean off the mark by a factor of 15 to 22. That sounds massive. Is that as massive as I think it is? All right, Cisco thought that it only had to be around 51 cloud services operating in the organization, but they actually checked, found the number was 720. You have to mitigate this. 
this doesn't really say <laughs> I feel like this is not a very good explanation of why you should go no code but all right maybe I'm missing something you come this far you're looking for a way to clear your department's never-ending queue of com requests and complaints all right overall you know I just want to say I think my problem with this is well things I've already mentioned sure it has its benefits of anyone could go in and edit stuff but I feel like it's just gonna get more convoluted and confusing the more and more people that mess with it that don't really understand it the worse your software is gonna get and I feel like that is a big part of this people are just gonna be like oh just download this node thing drop it in of course that node's just I don't know if Node's a good example here. I feel like Node.js using libraries is sort of similar, but you still do need to code. Huh. So, yeah, there's a lot more information out here about this. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think of this no-code movement? Is it something that just takes advantage of developers? Or is it destined to be a mess? Or is it way better? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence here. I can't really tell. It seems like there's some things that are definitely better about it. Like, if you can iterate fast, that's nice. But then, what if something goes wrong that you don't know how to drop in some no-code thing to fix? What what then? Are you just completely stuck? That's that's where I I kind of I lose it because I, you know, I would rather do the backend stuff custom. Personally, it's usually not that hard, uh, especially with libraries. All right, I'll catch you guys in the video next video. Matt from Code Tech and Tutorials over and out. Once again, a massive shout out to my patrons. It does really, really mean a lot to me. And uh, you can get on this list for next month. If you wanna go ahead and sign up, it does make a really huge difference for me producing these videos lately as uh, things have been a little rough at home but I'm not going to talk about that much on this channel it's just you know you know things happen and it isn't always easy to produce videos consistently uh, you know infinitely I'd love to make videos every day but you know things come up day to day and sometimes it is me thinking about these patrons that are supporting me that give me the push to say hey this is something you do now people are supporting you get out there and do it so thank these four for the tutorials that come out this month because they're pretty much carrying it sign up help us all out and uh yeah i appreciate it matt out for real this time